Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and as this week is the fifth anniversary of Windows 10, we uh, will, of course, have a little bit of videos talking about Windows 10 in the past, today, and future. Uh, we have one more video today where we're going to talk about what was Windows 10 at another time, which is the time of the version anniversary update and also uh, the not just the anniversary update but also the creators updates which was the surprising name of other versions so as we moved on they tweaked around the start menu uh, adding different apps in the list of apps alphabetical order most used apps stuff like that of course uh, with the usual crap that you see in general. But they were actually doing something to try and make this um, a little better. The setup process also is different. But as we moved along, one of the biggest problems that arrived is in their own way of doing Windows as a service. When Windows 10 was released in, uh, on July 29th, 2015 it was supposed to have two updates a year the first update came in the fall of that year so there were two updates or two versions of Windows 10 if you want in 2015 but 2016 only one a major problem arrived that made the two updates that were supposed to be in 2016 only one update called the anniversary update and like I said, it tweaked the start menu, tweaked a few little things, and uh, made changes. A lot of people didn't like the original start menu the way it was. And it continued, but it already was showing that two updates a year might be a big um, contract for Microsoft. Because they had a problem with having two updates that year. And of course, the two updates a year came next. And it came in the form of an interesting um, thing called the uh, Creators Update. And the Creators Update, the name was interesting and it was like turning everybody into creators. So we had the Creators Update, which was 1703, that introduced a few features including something called Paint 3D. And all the controversy with all of this of Paint 3D replacing the original paint. Finally, Microsoft backed off and said, no, we're not going to touch the original paint. It's going to still be there. There are so many little things like that that Microsoft wanted to change, but they were always backing off. Once again, showing how inconsistent Microsoft is as it's doing stuff. But at least, you know, it. Uh, they were advancing. They thought everybody would be creators and we would all be doing in creative stuff on our PCs. And it was followed by a second update called the Fall Creators Update. Now, once again, a little controversy. Fall, yeah, fall in, nor in Northern Hemisphere, but it was spring in the Southern Hemisphere. You're kind of leaving some people off with that name. Also, um, the fact that, you know, the Creators Update were not very creative in their names. Uh, people would have said, well, you know, Creators Update was cool, but uh, you could have given some kind of other name at the other update rather than just fall creators update uh, but anyways you know and it was that time when there were keynotes um, about Windows uh, today when we have Microsoft talking of different products um, you know what there's no more Windows side of things pretty much but back then there were keynotes and there were talk about Windows uh, it was also where there the, the PC and the phone thing started being a little more linked together. Uh, so the first attempt was something like this with the phone companion and you would match your Android phone with your uh, computer but it was still far off from what your phone can do today. But you know we were moving on and we were moving on with different uh, new features and technologies and of course Edge was getting better, even though it never caught on. It was more complete, because at the beginning, in 2015, it was really unfinished. 
and each version um, you know were bringing new features quite a lot of them uh, if you look at the different versions from the anniversary update creators update fall creators update um, they were focusing on tons of new things within the operating system and when I look back at the reviews I had of those versions, it's, there, there was a lot of stuff to talk about. Unlike today, when we pretty much today have, you know, a Windows 10 operating systems that don't have a lot to offer in new features. And, um, you know, most people never used those features anyways. So it's kind of interesting to, uh, to see this. And... Um, I don't know. It's um, you know, Windows 10 is is an operating system for people that just want to have a computer that works. And apart from tech enthusiasts, most people really don't care that much about you know whatever new features you can offer them in uh, in Windows in general. There are a few things notable. You know, I, I really do like your phone app, uh, the way that it actually uh, syncs with the phone and actually lets you even make calls. Uh, check text messaging and stuff like that i really love but you know it was slowly moving forward cortana was taking a little more space also in the uh creators update fall creators update they still were pushing cortana as being your pc assistant and you know there were demonstrations of well you can leave your pc on and have that command of you know um hey you know hey cortana or whatever to actually uh have Cortana respond to whatever command you wanted to give. So it's kind of interesting. Cortana, of course, was still integrated deeply into Windows 10 with search, which was a big problem for some people. And we were moving on into uh, new technologies. Uh, there were a lot of little changes, little things that were happening uh, under the hood. Uh, they were also leaving behind a few processors as we were moving uh, ahead, uh, some early uh, processors that were meant for some Atom processors for, you know, underpowered tablets were left behind with, with versions of Windows that couldn't be upgraded after that. But um, overall, you know, the march continued with new Windows versions. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.